My name's Trina. I'm the chair of a park user group called Deathwood Folk. We started in 2015, like many parks groups, because it was a threat to open space. There was an arrangement to start to build a full-size AstroTurf football pitch here, and local people said no. And what we've done since then is switch that 180 degrees, become a positive force for change in the area. One of the projects we're doing is Evelyn 200, which is a tree planting project. John Evelyn lived in this area and the electoral ward is called Evelyn Ward after him. He wrote the first book about air quality and he also wrote the first book published by the Royal Society which was about trees. Ironically, this ward has the lowest number of trees and the worst air quality in Lewisham and the highest level of child poverty in Lewisham too, 43%. This was tree number one. This is an Acer called Evelyn and since then we've planted a row of walnuts here and people have got involved so all the local schools have been out planting trees we had 120 people come and plant an orchard last january but it will end up in about 200,000 pounds worth of trees just in this area we have embarked on a huge project called deptford park liverpool neighborhoods which is part of the mayor of london's Healthy Streets program. Lusher Council and Deptford Folk thought we could perhaps apply for this funding. The neighbourhood is about improving areas for walkers and cyclists, taking people away from cars. So we submitted a bid which included Simon on Bolt Street and the idea of closing off this, 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 this pocket park or close off the street outside Fast Street School. And in December 2017 we were successful. 2.9 apparently 2.9 million is apparently quite a modest size, but you know we know that there's a lot that's been done. Of money, especially in a really deprived area like Evelyn. We're also mindful that there's about 10,000 new properties being built in this immediate area. It's probably going to double the size of the population. What's really important about this park user group is it's a platform. People bring their interests and skills and decide what they do, want to do. And what's really nice about that is it's just the living proof that parks are for everybody and everyone can contribute.